remember what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? This has to be one of the worst fathers ever. And when I say ever, family, I mean in the history of civilization. We got a clown out of Arkansas who, for punishment, sexually assaulted his son with a stick. He forced him to sleep in a dog cage and he pulled his teeth out with pliers. That's just the beginning. Mauricio Torres is alleged to have violated his son, Maurice Isaiah Torres, on a camping trip as punishment for eating a piece of cake without permission. The youngster developed a bacterial infection and died of septic shock the next day in March of 2015. A jury heard on Monday that the six-year-old's parents would allegedly beat their son with cables and shoes and gave him coal in his stockings at Christmas. Torres pleaded not guilty to capital murder and battery over the death of Maurice at Benton County Circuit Court in Arkansas. Isaiah's 12-year-old sister testified at the trial that she witnessed her parents pulling Isaiah's teeth with pliers and made him sleep in a dog cage. She also said he was forced to stay in a large trash can for a month while she would often act as guard so he would not escape to eat food. The sister claims she was fed home-cooked meals and would dine in restaurants while Isaiah was fed rice and beans. She also says she witnessed her father beat Isaiah with a stick and she and her sister was also forced to beat him. She says she did it because she was afraid if she didn't, he would beat her. The sister told the court, Isaiah's birthday was never celebrated and he was given coal on Christmas Day. She also told jurors she remembered her mother pouring bleach over the boy while her father scrubbed his skin. The boy was said to have been forced to squat while the stick was in his rectum and his mother Kathy injured him further by pushing him to the ground with it inside of him. She was handed a life sentence after pleading guilty to capital murder in March 2017. He was sentenced to death in November 2016, but his conviction was overturned last April because the alleged assault with the stick happened in Missouri and not Arkansas. Capital murder offenses that carry the death penalty must have taken place in the state where the prosecution is being brought, according to a state law. Torres now faces a retrial in Benton County Circuit Court in Arkansas on Thursday after his original convictions were overturned on this technicality. He faces life imprisonment or death if convicted of the murder charge and from 5 to 20 if convicted of the felony. You know, ain't no way they're going to let this fool go. He got to get it. What a lowdown, dirty bastard. Makes me wonder what the hell was his daddy. Who the hell was his daddy? And his mama. Who raised, who, how can you raise something that damn diabolical? And where was Isaiah's mother? Kathy. What a low down poor excuse for a mother. How in the hell can you do something like that to a child, let alone your own child? The way that they made his sisters beat him also and guard him to prevent him from eating is the way that they used to make slaves oversee other slaves, rat out other slaves. It gives you some insight on what the little girl and her sister may have been thinking. God.
people like this, man. One thing about it, Isaiah, they can't hurt you anymore, little buddy. Maurice and Kathy Torres, your mama should be embarrassed and your daddy should have pulled out. No more talk. What the haters talking about? Yeah.